Hello everyone, what is up? I am the Adamsy Kid and welcome back to my Norwich City career mode. Um, and we've got three more games until the January transfer window, so I'm going to get all of them in this part. And the next part, we'll go through the whole of January playing every single game. Well, maybe not in the next one because there's going to be a lot of games, but it's time to turn our attention for at least three um, games and hopefully half of the January. I'm just going to quickly check and um, I need to actually do this because they could be, they could leave. So that's actually kind of, yeah. And we're going to reject that because again, I do not want to manage any other team. I think I've said in another episode, apart from England or Spain. But anyway, we need to, oh, it's been rearranged so it's moved earlier in there. Um, risk of losing three players, this is the one I need to check. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to quickly go and do contracts as well. Um, just because, um, you know, I don't want to lose any player on a free transfer. Um, I always want to try and sell, and that is what, again, I will try and do um, with a lot of these players. So quickly just move that and also move Bun as well. Um, let's put him as a squad rotation again. And that is just so that I can get myself a bit of money from them. And it does take a little bit, it does cost a little bit for the nego nego uh, negotiate negotiations, whatever they're called, just the talky stuff. But yeah, um, I'm pretty confident that I'll be able to do you know, get a bit of cash for them, and we're playing against Sheffield Wednesday at home, and again, I'm, I like the team, I like the team, I think I've said that many times, but we definitely get, I, I do want to strengthen at the back, um, I said to give Kyle Lafferty a go, he's not, he's got not that good sp sp pace, but I want to give Danny Ings a little bit of a rest, considering we had got a decent big game thing coming up soon, I wanted just to sort of, you know, do that. Apart from that, you know, I'm keeping with the same team as it is in the last episode. Um, it's 20th of December, we've got another 11 days of 2014, and we've still got to play another two games after this one. So three games in 11 days, which is alright, I guess. It's, it's not as bad as um, a team, which I, I can't remember what they're called, but they had to play like so many games, they had to play like 20, they had like 21 days to play well, seven games today, or something. I was like, it might have even been eight games to play. Um, and I know that sometimes happens when you get... It. But the thing is, they're, they're like some sort of like conference team, I think. It's, but whatever. I want to get it as a good win. We we beat Leeds in the last minute, if you if you didn't see that one. Um, I recommend going to watch it, um, at least towards the end. But we beat Leeds, in, and it looked like it was heading to a draw. And we get a penalty and they get a red card in the last minute. Um, well, we, well they, yeah, they, they can see the penalty and then the player gets a red card and we get a last minute winner. The game which, to be honest, I don't think we deserve to win. But we won it. And I'm not going to take that away. But now we need to focus. We need to focus on getting a win. Because I haven't been playing too, too, too good convincing. And if this is the Premier League, I think I'll be getting absolutely murked. And speaking of that, the keeper, I feel the keepers have gotten better all of a sudden, which is annoying me. Annoy me at the recently so recently decent size good, good. thing that last makes game, no sense actually, and martin and russell martin look at that pace and from russell martin yeah he's on side oh but you think you didn't go nowhere near the ball that's the problem with this game i think i said it before you can never you can either you can pass it a lot or you can just go for shots I want to try and play the passing and shots game, but it's kind of impossible. Like, I want to try and break them down through passing. Do you think I can do? I can do that. Oh, that's a beautiful goal. No, that, that was, that, that's the sort of football I want to be playing. That's the football I want to be playing. And who is it? Who scored? It's not going to tell me who scored. It's a lovely run. Halton! Yeah, it's like second goal off from it. Oh, I skipped it too quick. Ugh, oh, shit. You don't know I stepped my no. You wouldn't have seen, but. Stepped to the. More, more like my leg hit it. My leg hit my remote. Sort of. Yeah, don't ask. But that happened. This stuff always happens. But yeah, I'm looking. I'm looking forward to. to for the transfer window, getting some some good players in, you know, looking looking really at quality players who maybe have been Premier League or are really good Championship players, um, and also looking at the more youthful side. I'm someone who 
Does it really all play it? If he's like the only option I've got, I'll play him. But I prefer to have like the younger sort of things, which is why I think I'm sticking with this team a lot. Like quite often in career modes, I'll sort of have one and a half teams, and I'll rotate, and I'll have the, have like the world, like the really world class, like in my Man United one, I've got world class players. Um, but I've also got like younger players, like 21, 22, 23 even. But like between 80 and 83, isn't it? Compared and compared to the like the all the 87s, 88s, 89s, I've even got a couple of 90s in that now. Um, and I will maybe make a video on it or something. Um, I did show it um, on the earlier videos actually. Um, but yeah, and normally I'll have that, so I've, I've, and I will rotate a lot with them players. This one's different. This one's going to be more. I have one team and I have. Should I establish myself and try and make it more realistic? Because that's obviously more like a dream team of Man United. This here is more of a. Let's try and make it as realistic as possible. Like, what would Norwich need when they get promoted? What sort of signings would they make? And obviously, it's going to be a bit towards what I like having, but it's also going to be a lot to do with what they would actually have. Does that make sense? Well, it's in, we had a shot which was reflected. I also, did that. I also did the thing where you're trying to skip and you pass. Even though I don't even know what I'm trying to skip. It's weird. He just got done. Right. I don't know why they don't just keep running forward. It's, you know, sometimes this game is frustrating. Because you just can't get the ball. But sometimes you see them and you're like, well, that's stupid. Yeah, I know you don't want to have the ball, but... At least go for goal. Yeah, we've got good possession. We've got a beautiful goal. I still can't believe that's probably one of my favourite goals of this whole career thing so far. I've scored some good goals on FIFA, but I don't think I've scored as many passing goals like that. I've not scored a couple. I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't even care. But look at that. We have a dab. Gabby drawing. I think it's like ready. They're losing. They're in good stead. We're good stead. Um, and I'm going to put on. The beef which is Danny Ings. I want to get that other goal. I want to get that second. I was going to put. Um, is that Ryan Bennett? Um, I don't even tell you. I think it's Ryan Bennett. It's two Bennett's and it's confusing me. It's like a Ryan Bennett and like, there's a. Like a Joshua Bennett or something. I don't even know. There's a. No, there's a Ryan Bennett. There's another Bennett. I don't know. I'll find out. It's not too important, I don't think. I wouldn't have thought it would be. Um, May. Anyway, May. May. Mm, such a good name, May. You know what I need to figure out how to get the notification thing off. Because obviously, when I'm playing, it's not that bad. When I'm watching the screen, it's just a little thing. But when um, you see it on the stream, it's just a massive pitch thing blurred out. And just ruins it. I, yeah, notification things are. It can be annoying. I'm not going to lie. Right. When you're playing and you're trying to do well. But they're not too bad. They're not too much in the way. They're, you can get some of them, which are a lot in the way. Um, but usually they're not bad. Why they decided to... I understand why I'm blowing them out. Yeah, fair enough. But why they made the boxes so big? Why they even put them in on the stream? I don't know why. It's like... We're not going to show them, there's no point in having them. But whatever, they decided to do that. I'm going to I'm gonna somehow figure out how, how to turn the notifications off, I guess. I to to but anyway, I want to attack. Turner, Turner, pass. It's gonna be a substitution. It's for the away team. Right, Danny Ings is out wide. Is he going to score or is he going to pass? He's going to pass and he's going to... I think he made him. I think he did. I'm not even sure. I don't even know. I saw they like dawdle, run, pass, whatever. Yeah. 61 minutes in. 61 minutes of top class performance and that right ings right. Again, notifications are pissing me off. Anyway, ings, can he get two nil and we just. If I can get 2-0, normally if I get 2-0 I don't, I will, I don't not win, I win basically. This is frustrating, <laughs> speaking of frustrating, you ran the ball, no, no. 
Them sort of things which just frustrate me so much. But, yeah. Right, through ball. No. God. Damn. Wait, Martin. Yes. No. Nah. Wait. Damn it. Kirkland. Damn it. Redmond. Right. I just want that other goal. I want that second goal. I'm going to get it. No, I'm not. That was awful. So much promise and it does not. I don't know why, because I'm winning. And they're not really having any shots. It was surprising if we just have one. And that should have been a foul. The players are lucky. Oh, my. No. Oh, thank God. I was wondering, why is my defender not running? Oh, the oh, 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 Right, Redmond. Wrong play. Why is it this game never passes to the right player? Right. What are you doing? Well, that's just plain naughtiness. Plain naughtiness. Yes, I knew. I knew Teddy Bennett. Be it's got like Johnson right. I want it to be two now. That pass was all right. He's rapid as Buxton. He's rapid as Buxton. Oh no, shoot! He's called Buxton. Nice. Thank you for calling me nice. Look forward, you monster. What is it you which you've got my mic in? Which is annoying. I want to like take it out. But I kind of need to twitch it. Don't care. Redmond. Oh my god, he blocked me. I think we've won. I'll take that, but I want the goal. The next, the next goal. It's not coming. I'm sorry. It might sound weird, but I'm sorry. I'm weak. It's good to scratch your ear. Yeah, I've got a massive lump on that actually, which hurts. I think that's what's causing it to weak, because it's not slotting in winter. Yeah, I've got, I've got an annoying thing on it. Pissing me off, no I mean. But we have gotten ourselves a win, and we dominated shots. We had two shots and one on target, we dominated. And thank God, I think Reading and Derby both lost, meaning we are put four points clear at the top, and it was full on the other team. But look at that, we are at nine points clear. We're going to end the new year in the top. Let's look at yeah, the, next round of fixtures in the, English Football the top two. The league leaders, Norwich City, and speaking of the top two, we are up against um, Nottingham Forest, 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 who Fulham had a stinker of a season Blackboard. in real life. Not even going to try and exaggerate Reading whatsoever, but they had really bad. They were going good for about two months. Then they just did absolute awful. And yeah, they're another team which I want in the Premier League, but I don't. You know, it's they're like they're like it's a bit like no. He's not been in good form at all, Alan, Derby. I wanted Derby to go through the playoffs, yeah, I um, Martin, but the kept his faith and I want him. Derby to go up. We'll it's sort of because obviously three teams have to go up each season. Bradley they're like one of the teams which I want to go up just because I feel I kind of feel bad for them, but I won't want them to do well. I want them to come straight back down. I thought I just wanted up there just so I can laugh and say, ha ha, ha ha, you shit. I feel like such a negative guy, like, ha ha, you shit. 
But it should be like sometimes you Derby come in and say, no, I like Derby, you know, they're a good team and I want them to do well. Yeah, the no. Back off. They could be in you trouble. don't. And the ball gets to here. You told us you didn't. You told us you didn't. Well, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. yeah. Even raining on this, or is it just wet pitch? Pissing me off. Pissing off wet pitches on this because this. Because. Shit. Yes, Tramarco, what is up? What is up, Tramarco? How are you doing? I'm doing good. Hopefully, you're doing alright as well. Um, I was wondering why you were. You know me always coming like so much earlier than them, so. You know, the fact you only just. Now in the second game, it's just not like, well... Yeah. Anyway, Connor comes in, and... Oh, what a moment. And whoa! That's why you should always pay attention on FIFA. What? No! Oh my god. Jesus, potato man. How oh, the fuck? Did that happen? I know, but I'm gonna go for a run. I'm not gonna join the party, unfortunately, because I'm streaming, but I'm and stuff. But and I won't probably tonight because I or today because I'm probably gonna come off after this. I've been not on long, but I only wanted to come to make this video really because probably gonna go like watch film or something, I'll just go and do something else after this, because, you know, it's what you do, um, but another time I will definitely join you, you know, it might, one time in the future if you've got FIFA 15, which I'm guessing you probably do, um, you know, I'll play you, I, and, you know, we can, you know, just put it on and stream it, and then YouTube will be a video it once it's streaming finished, so yeah, I'll do that sometime with you, so. Hopefully one time it'll be me versus Tremarco. Another sort of a bit like me and, and Harrison in that in that video which I did with me and him. And he beat me because I messed up. Which costed me. Uh, but I'm sorry mate, I'm not gonna do it today. Um join it. I'll join another time. Titty. Titty. Hmm, it's Titty. Titty's going on a run. To Murphy. Johnson. Oh so the a bit of FIFA 16 news, I said I would give you gaming news um, when like new games came out or stuff, like, I don't know if I've said Call of Duty, but a bit of FIFA 16 news for you, they're going to have, they've, been, they've released a trailer, they're going to have girls teams, they're going to have 12 women's international teams in the game, and I am buzzing because I actually, I'm not like one of the people who thinks all oh, women shouldn't play football, should stay in the kitchen, yes women do make better sandwiches than men, but I'm actually a huge follower of the um, Women's Super League and I was hoping that would be in uh, when I heard uh, women's football. But it's still a huge step. Um, 12 international team including England which is good. I do like watching England women play. Um, I do love watching women's football. Like, I haven't watched too much this season. Um, but as I remember last season and watching a lot. I also watched the um, Women's FA Cup final last season. Between Arsenal and Everton which was really good. But yeah, I do like it. I do like women's football. I need to watch a bit more. I probably will do now that the Premier League in t has finished, the Women's Super League is in on the way, um, both of them actually, and I haven't really followed it too much. I think Chelsea are doing quite well, or, che or Man City, off of it, like, I mean, at top Arsenal I think are doing alright as well, but, you know, I'm, I'm, looking, for I'm looking forward to it, I'm looking forward to, um, to, yeah, um, to that, you know, and I want, if, the, if all the team's good, on FIFA 16, and I'm gonna, I'll give it a go, I'll give it a little try, and it is raining on here, I thought it was, um, and if you can, I'm gonna build myself a, a, a women only team, and that would be really weird, like, I'll have, I'll obviously have a men's team, I'll probably build a team at the normal, which is just pace, my team, like, I think you might have seen it, it's just, I might, I might play a game just to show you it, what my team's like, but it's just pace abuse, um, out wide, and just passing legends, and like passing legends when I say that I mean um like people who just can pass so much and then I've got Costa up front and stuff just because you know he's a he's a relatively good striker he's not the paciest of people which is frustrating I guess I mean I'm a huge fan I used to have Hernandez and I have had like pay I've had really pacey players in the past up front um 
And that's what I like. That's why I like my Man United one, because I've just got Neymar and Lacazette up front. Like, pretty much my whole team, apart from about two or three players. At ultimate pace. Like, that's how OP my Man United... Like, if my Man United one was, like, an ultimate team, my Man United career mode was an ultimate team, that would be, like... Well, I don't even know. It would be mental. I would have no excuse not to be the best. It is insanely good. It is it's OP to the max. Right. The defence, I've got good defenders. They're good. And they're quite... I've got one quite pacey for a centre-back. He's like 70 something pace, I think. Also, it. He's just really good. I've obviously got... Um, um, Varane, who is just... Amazingly defender. I've got um, someone else. I can't remember who it is. But I've got another defender person. I've got, this, I've got Gundogan sitting in front of midfield with like Goethe um, and someone else. I've got like the Di Maria Costa, um and also the ratings because they go up. Like Lacazette, I got him when he was at 82 or overall in my first season. A sort of backup to Mother's Dragons and someone who like, because obviously I had Van Persie Falcao, I was going to sell them, probably move on Rooney after a couple of seasons, which I did. He was going to be sort of like one of my strikers, which I just have, sort of to hopefully overtake and become just like a good player. Never did I think, and he got injured a lot, never did I think he was going to become that sort of... Are you fucking kidding me? What the fuck? But never did I think he was going to become... Uh, like 24, 25, 90 overall. Like... I've seen players grow, I've grown amazing players on FIFA in the past. But a lot of the time, they are sort of people who start off quite low, 60s, like, like some of these Norwich people, and I've grown them to the 84, like 83, maybe, you know, low to mid 80 rated, which is, yeah, I've had people who have, yeah, been like 80s, like 81s, 82s, going stuff like 87, 88. Never ever had someone who started the thing at like 21, 22. In, in two and a half seasons, pretty much, get to rating 90. I once had a guy who was eight, who was, uh, who was, that, who was a real player. Who, real player, that's just called Louis, Louis L. Muriel, I think he was. I don't know if he's a real player or not, I think he is, I think I've seen him in this game. But he didn't have a face on it, and it wasn't him, it, was, no, it wasn't him, it was this guy called Flint. That's it, it was a guy called Flint. I did get more in the same team, but there's a guy called Flint. He was English and he played for Barca. He was 25 or something. He's 24, 25, I think. I might be wrong. But he was just... I think I told you him or something. I can't remember what his age was. I can't even get the thing anymore because I've lost my FIFA 13 and also I've never seemed to be able to find it. I might have deleted it by accident. But, oh my God, he was the most amazing striker you would ever... See, is the... That is the thing what made me fall in love with FIFA 13 so much. I just, it was the first real FIFA which I sort of, you know, I sort of really tried in a career mode since FIFA 09. And we all know that FIFA 09 on the PlayStation 2 was just the, you know, it's the last PlayStation 2 game I think I ever got. And believe you me, it was worth it. I love FIFA 08. And 09. I've had, no, the last game I got on the FIFA, on my PS2 was FIFA 08. Just before FIFA 10 came out, because I wanted to have the whole FIFA collection from FIFA 06, meaning I had FIFA 06 on my on the um, what's it called now the the Game Boy the the Game Boy that that thing which Nintendo released, which was just you know revolu revolutionary. Um, yeah, I love I love that I love that game there. I always I always made sort of like this tournament thing with an American team called New England, not knowing that that was a place in America. I always thought it was some next level country thing, or some not expansion to England, to just never known where it was. That was like the best day in my life. I used to, I never won because I always sim the matches with it. 
But I remember spending one day about four hours just continuously going through this tournament thing. I've got a free kick. Wait, I need to, I'll tell you my story in a bit. Yeah! Oh! No! We got a last minute. What happened then? No! What happened then? Woohoo! It's why I love FIFA, because shit like that happens. We drew when we shouldn't. Oh. What the fuck? Oh my god, I've got one more game. But yeah, um, going back to the story, I used to do that. FIFA 07 was the first console FIFA I ever got, and the first game which me and my brother played, first ever console game we played, we didn't know the controls or anything, we didn't know how to choose teams, we were Hull, I was Hull and my brother was Accrington Stanley and it finished nil-nil, and it was the most, I remember that because um, my brother told me actually not so long ago about it, it was the, oh my god, I, it was the best, funniest thing I think I've ever seen in my life. It was just, oh my god. But anyway, we've got Watford. Um, which I remember also in FIFA 07. Before, because we got a massive dent in it. Or like dent scratch thing. Which eventually meant that you could only play on it when, oh what was it? When there was, um, what's it called? When you had it, because obviously the mem there were two memory card slots, memory card slot one and memory card slot two. You could only play on the game towards the end of when we ended up getting FIFA 09, because obviously we had that for two years. Um, what's it called? Oh, um, if you had it in memory card slot two, not slot one, it fucked up. I had a Norwich City career mode. Which, or manager mode it was called then, which I had started from the beginning and I managed and I did well. I'd got three seasons and I got them from the championship as they were in to something like 10th or 11th in the Premier League, which for me back then when I was shit at FIFA, that was a good achievement for me. I made another one and we were storming in the championship and stuff um, towards the beginning. We had a poor run, we went to play Derby and then that was when the game thing stopped. It froze and then I realised that I couldn't do it and for some reason memory card slot 2 was the most fucked up thing in the world. I think if you had too much mem you used all the memory in memory card slot 1 you'd add it. Add memory card slot 2 so you could have even more memory to it. That's when you had to have memory card slotted in like I'm so glad you don't have to do that with nowadays but then we got um, for FIFA 08 instead I went because obviously it, that was the days when you had DS's um, and going back to my Animal Crossing thing, I think I was on about in another episode. I got this game called Real Football, and it was just the most weird, it was just a weird game. I enjoyed it, it was a good game, I enjoyed playing it. But, you'd have a thing, you'd only have the Premier League, and it wasn't that, and all the team names were different, somehow. Like, it wouldn't be like, it would be like, Man, it would be like men on it, and like living pool or something, and so and Appy, Apno or something, or hybrid. I think I think I don't know, but it was just classy. It's not licensed by FIFA. They couldn't use the actual team names, but in this, you get one season and you'd play the matches. I can't remember the controls. You play your matches and stuff. Your first game would be at home. You didn't play every team away before playing every team at home. Like, I remember that. That was like the thing. It pissed off so much. There's been someone who like likes football and likes all the other stuff about it. And oh, almost a recreation of the playoff final goal. But um, yeah, that was just fun. But anyway, FIFA 09 came out and we got it. Um, because obviously we were like, well, we want another FIFA. The other FIFA is broken. Let's get a new FIFA. And like, no, fair enough. This was the last new game I ever got on my PS2. I think I got a couple. I mean, I think I got a couple of like pre-owned games a little bit later on. But this was the last new game which was bought for my PS2, which was a shame because 
you know, the PS2 for me is still regarded as one of my, it's probably my favourite console ever. Because obviously, yes, I know nowadays, com compare it even to the 360 and the PS3, the graphics were just completely different. Like, yeah, FIFA, what was it? PS4 to, and Xbox One to the Xbox 360 and PS3, yep. You can see difference. There's no, there's no denying that. There is a clear difference in between, in like a lot of, like quite a lot of, especially the background. More of the, it's more focused on like the more background detail bits of it. Like, but in terms of a lot of the, you know, animations that they have in it and all that, quite a few of it at least. It's still pretty similar. You could, I can't say you could, not, have, you know, just get some, I don't know, some. Xbox 360 and pass it as an Xbox One. You couldn't do that. It was graphic wise. But you can there's not as much difference between that and as there was between the um the like the PS2 and the PS3 or the Xbox I'm guessing the Xbox original the original Xbox against 360. My best comparison is the Xbox 360 to the PS2 and then the 360 to the PS4. But for me it's just the console which sort of brought me into gaming. You know, I, I, it was, it was the first proper console. I mean, I had a Wii, which yeah was I enjoyed. It. I, I'm not gonna lie, because Animal Crossing and Mario Kart and the Olympic game thing was in it. I enjoyed it, Mario Sonic Olympic Games. It was for me, yeah. I enjoy, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the the Wii, the Wii Sports. I remember, uh, it was good. I'm not saying that the Wii was, it was good at the beginning. I'll I'll give it that. It became shit quite quickly because they didn't release good games and the graphics weren't the best in terms of like games like FIFA or COD and all that but I remember FIFA 09 and the PS2 is just the best console like I think I've ever had but moving on about that to um to um something else um <laughs> moving on to talking about something else completely different is um was um getting the Xbox and getting FIFA 10. Now FIFA 10 was the first and was one of them Fifas which was good, but I thought of I used to have this thing where I'd just every single transfer window in manager mode or career mode, whatever. I think it was manager mode still. Um, I would sell half my team, no matter who it was. I had a Man United one. I brought in Phil Neville. I just brought in so many people, and I didn't. I just loved the concept of signing and transfers and everything. And I'll just, yeah. It was just for me, just something which just I found intriguing. I loved the I loved the game though. I lo I loved playing it. I loved. I think that was back when they had the Reebok in the game. They had the Reebok. I'm not sure if they did. But they had when Bolton played. They had a like, stadium which looked exactly like the Reebok Stadium, which for me was just heaven. I love the Reebok. I, I think back then it was. I think that's what it was called back then. It's something like the Macron now, but I still call it the Reebok. I, I prefer that. Um, Bolton, whatever it is, Bolton's home ground. Because it would have been called the Reebok back then, I think. That was for me was just the best. I love playing against Bolton. Things I never did a Bolton career on it, I never ever would have thought Bolton, right, to do it. For me, that game was probably a, one of the best games of, I think there's been of FIFA, which has been, you know, one which I've not really done that well on. A lot of FIFAs I fall attached with and love is when I've done really well with them and I've sort of, you know, you know, just especially with career mode if I've done a good career mode it normally means the game is good speaking of good FIFA 11 was by far my favourite ever FIFA F I said FIFA and I was one of my favourite FIFAs and it's true I did I made two good careers I made a good United career and I made a good Chelsea career but nothing will beat my experience with for me the shortest lived FIFA I've ever had I got FIFA 11 as a lot of people do when they're young at Christmas. I might go a bit before Christmas. 
I'm pretty sure I got it Christmas. The game broke in July of that year. Seven months. Because my sister... First of all, it was a massive scratch. There was a massive dent. For some reason, my brother had raged during a game and he had... Um, of COD, I think it was. And he had just hit his remote onto the FIFA case. And it caused a dent. And that meant the game didn't work. Um work like it was it was sort of like a it was sort of like a scratch and it was still workable it did glitch and did freeze a lot but it, it worked it worked you could get about an hour and a half at, at a time then my sister was playing with bubble mix in my room which you know is fair enough you know that cheap one you get in like party bags and all that yeah she was playing around messing around with that guess what decides to what well, guess what she decides to go and do yep spill it on the game basically making it from Yep, you can go on it a bit to fucking ruin it. To make matters worse, we cleaned it and it still sort of worked. I guess you could get about, you could get about, if you're lucky, one game in. You got, you know, when it was right. It, it, it was really glitchy, but it's still just about, you just about were able to play it. Then my brother rages again and it actually snaps the middle. Like, you know, there's a circle bit in between like a disc. Yep, he snapped. Right, and this is ridiculous, but he snapped. Oh my god. Wait, has that happened twice to me now? Oh my god. Did that happen to you? That happened. Um. Like, uh, it. I've still got it somewhere. I don't know where. Then FIFA 12 came along, and that for me was just a dead FIFA. I, the, the colours on it were not bright enough, and I just hated it. Enough said on that. FIFA 13 was again, one which I do have somewhere, and I did that amazing bit, and I did quite a few actually. I did a whole city one where I just became mega rich. I conceded lots of last-minute goals. Um, it was actually one of my favourite. It was probably my fourth favourite FIFA in terms of it. I think I liked it a lot because it was like the last FIFA where I didn't play Ultimate Team, and it was for me all about career. I started playing Ultimate Team in FIFA 14. Mostly because my brother decided, because we used to share the console back then, when you had to share, you could only have one ultimate team. So eventually my brother sort of started with one for about a couple of weeks, said no, nah, I didn't like, didn't want it. I decided to start again, because I didn't like the team. I call it Rubik's 11, don't ask me why, I just did. But yes, for me FIFA 13 and FIFA 14 were, career modes were pretty alright. I didn't like the new feature in um, FIFA 14, and also for some reason my game always seemed to like glitch um, and stuff. FIFA 15, however, I'm not too, I was convinced a lot on definitely on the next gen version, but now now they've done the career mode, not career mode, my team thing. I'm not too happy with it, and it's probably gone down as from being probably one of my favourite FIFAs I've had because of I just found it got a built good teams and I just enjoyed it a lot to one of the not so enjoyable ones. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed watching it. I've enjoyed making it um, for you guys. And until next time, if I can remember how to stop my broadcast, <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Adios.